Okay, so for the construction of this gun, at the base here, we have this little coupling. This right here, my drawing's not excellent, but I'm gonna do it just to kind of help us out. And then we have the one and a half inch PVC pipe that runs from the little end coupling to this elbow right here. So I don't actually have any more one and a half inch PVC pipe with me. Alright guys, sorry about the wind, it's probably pretty treacherous, but what we're going to be doing right now, I have not filled the gun up past, it's at 20 PSI right now, I have not filled it up past 40 PSI, so I'm going to leave the camera down here, and the air compressor has a control knob that allows you to say how much PSI goes into the hose, so... However much is in the hose is what's going to be in the gun, but let's um, get right to that. I'm going to, I put a pressure gauge on it and I'm going to allow you guys to see what the PSI is as I do it and hopefully the gun doesn't explode, but I don't want to be around it if it does. This PVC, the thicker PVC is rated 330 PSI and the the uh, half inch PVC is rated, it was something ridiculous. It was like 400, yeah, 480 PSI. It's crazy. But the uh, pressure gauge actually has a little leak. I haven't got to put thread tape on it because I thought we had some. And I, when I went to Lowe's, I didn't get it because I thought we had some. So, um, well, I guess let's get to it and you guys can watch the pressure. Let's hope it doesn't explode though. The gun obviously can hold a lot of PSI. I was afraid that it was gonna blow out at like 90, but I just went back out and brought it up to 125 PSI, and it held fine. There is a leak 
where the pressure gauge is, but I think what we have to shoot out of it is gonna be perfect. I can't wait. Let's get to the shooting already. I brought you guys inside because I just wanted to talk where it's not super windy, but it's really echoey in here and I didn't even realize it'd be like that. Because right now we are redoing our whole living room. It It's coming along super nice, but I mean, we got plywood and the walls just got primed, but everything's looking real nice. So with that being said, I want to get outside and shoot the gun. Are you guys ready? I'm, I'm pretty pumped about it, let's go. All right guys, so we're holding at 100 PSI right now. Can you guys see that? All right, and I haven't even told you what we're launching out of this thing yet. This is the most exciting part. So at first I was gonna do golf balls, but this one and a half inch PVC, it wouldn't quite fit a golf ball inside. It was maybe two millimeters off. So instead, we got something even cooler. Ping pong balls. Now I, now I know what you're thinking. A ping pong ball, how is that any cooler than a golf ball? Well, you see. Oh, and we got this humongous barrel that I, I don't know why it's so long. I've been thinking about cutting it, but I'm just like, what if it's what if it's better long, you know? That's what the ladies think, I think. But anyway, all right, so this little leak does cause some air to leak out, but we're holding about, still around 100 PSI, as you can see. And we're gonna launch the first ping pong ball out of this. The only other time we launched one was when we were at 40 PSI, so this should be a big difference. Can you guys, can you guys see okay? Yes, you can. All right, so we're gonna launch it at this tree. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, Nala loves this too. Anything that launches balls, Nala loves. Let's do another one. So, the, a reason I don't wanna glue this on is because I pop the barrel off drop the ball right there, which it fits perfectly. And then I stick it back on. And I feel like if the barrel's shorter, then we won't have as much compression as the ball travels through the, you know, shorter tube. So I hope that makes sense. Here we go, we're gonna launch another one. That thing comes out fast. All right, here goes the third ball. Hang on a second, guys, hang on, hang on. All right, sorry about that, guys. Oscar ran off like he currently is right now, but I'm not gonna worry about it. And where were we? Okay, so I have a ping pong ball loaded up in here. We're gonna do the third launch. I'm gonna try to hit the tree. So far, it's not very accurate. And in case you were wondering how I have to stand to launch this thing, it's like this. We're we're at 120 PSI right now. Here we go. Three. No, I'm just gonna launch it into the field for Nala. Three, two, one. I think Nala understands the countdown because I don't know if you guys could see it, but she started like backing up, getting ready for the ball to come to her. cool okay okay I know what you're saying ping pong balls they reach terminal da, 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 terminal velocity in like two and a half seconds if that so they don't go very far and they're not very fun so what else you got for us downstream and what I'm gonna say this is a little bit cooler than ping pong balls so I was doing a little research on like because i knew ping pong balls weren't going to be very cool to launch out of this thing i was thinking what could i make or get that would be super cool to launch out of this cannon and i had a couple ideas they were pretty stupid and then i found this one channel i don't know if you guys know it he he's known as the king of random 
actually Grant Thompson runs that channel. He died a couple years back. I'm not sure how, but his videos were awesome. I loved them when I was like 10 years old. But he made a homemade blow dart gun. And it was kind of made with the same, you know, PVC, blah, blah, blah. But check this out. This is what we're going to be launching out of it. This is a screw. I think he used like five penny nails, but I don't have time to run to the store right now. Uh, the closest Lowe's is about 35 minutes away, so it takes a while. And unless I'm in the area, I don't really want to have to go clear out there. But this is what we got. I have not tried these in the gun yet, so let's see what we got. So, ugh, I just tripped. They're gonna fit in here, okay. Um, they're gonna fit in here like this. You know what? All right, so they're gonna fit in here like this. Just right down in there. I'll give them a little push so they actually enter the barrel. Can you guys see that right there? They're down in there. I'm gonna pop the gun on. So now we're locked and loaded. We're not gonna shoot at the dogs this time. Right now we are holding 95 PSI. And we're launching at the tree in three, two, one. <laughs> that was crazy. That went so fast I didn't even see it come out. The wind is horrible. But we got another one loaded up and we're gonna see where, how it goes. Let's launch it. We're sitting at 120 PSI. You guys see that? Wow, the wind is rocking my tripod. Yeah, can you guys see that? 120 PSI, let's see how this thing flies. Three, hang on, hang on. Three, two, one. See, Sadie understands the countdown too. She knows I'm about to shoot it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna trademark this weapon. It's gonna be on sale at downstreamdiving.com for a limited supply of $49.99. 10 easy payment, 10. That's it. 10 easy payments of $49.99. You can get yours here at downstreamdiving.com or something like that. I kind of forget. But if you want it, let me know. It's pretty cool. I'm sure we can figure something to, out to launch out of this thing. Ping pong balls and these stupid little dart things just ain't the move. All right, guys, one quick thing before we go. I know this video wasn't that entertaining, so I got to give you guys something. So this thing is stocked up at 100 PSI right now, right? What would happen if I stick the, the front down in the mud and turn it on? I think Oscar wants to find out. I got to get a shower anyway because I'm going over to Zoe's. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's all the way down there. In three, two, one. <laughs> that mud smells so bad. All right, I promise that's the last thing. Maybe one more, maybe one more. One more. I'm done doing this. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. So I'm over here filming the video and I couldn't help but notice. Look at the dogs. Let me zoom in for you. These dogs are just so funny. Sadie encouraged it. And Oscar hopped in. Nala, she's probably, she doesn't really like the water, but let me just give you a quick montage of the dogs. 